Today's gonna be a day because Jackie's eating nothing but sugar all day, so that can only mean one thing. Woo! Amazing! Oh, my brain is not functioning. Hello everybody, welcome back to Delish. It's Jackie and guess what? We're back at it again with another LA food tour. And this time, it's all about donuts. Donuts, donuts. It's that food that never disappoints. What is a donut for? Breakfast? Or is it dessert? Or is it a snack? Or is it just one of those things that cannot be defined? Anyway, you guys know the drill by now. I go to the best spots in LA and I'm going to rate all these donuts on a scale from one to 10. This is a no brainer. Their donuts get 10 out of 10. This is phenomenal. Now donuts are a little tricky when it comes to rating them because honestly donuts are fantastic. You really can't go wrong. Well, you can, but it's hard to go wrong with the donut, right? So I'm gonna be rating these on, are they delicious? Do they make me happy? And are they unique? All right, it's time to go eat some donuts. All right, all right, all right. Our very first donut of the day, or shall I say, donuts because I have so many. Dream Donut Truck was so generous. Their donut truck has so many different donuts to offer. They're known for their little LA inspired uh, donuts, which is really cute. Go Dodgers. But what we're gonna be trying today is their chocolate maple bacon donut. Let me repeat that. Chocolate maple bacon donut. Oh boy, I'm going to be in trouble. Today is gonna be a day. This donut looks so fluffy. It looks thick, it looks decadent, and it looks insane. <laughs> so let's go ahead and take a bite and I'm gonna make sure I get the chocolate, the maple, and the bacon. And the donut, of course. I just wanted to start singing hallelujah. Holy hell. Listen, this donut is fresh and this reminds me of Texas because it's over the top. They spared no ingredients when it came to this. Now the, the bacon itself is like the perfect cooked bacon. It's not too crispy, it's not too soggy. It's like right there in between and it's delicious. It's a nice balance. You got that saltiness from the bacon, the sweet from the chocolate and the maple and then you got a fresh donut. I did want to show one more donut. Apparently this donut has an entire snicker in it and you know, I just feel like they were super ambitious with that one and kudos to them for doing that. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what the inside of this looks like. Oh. That ain't right. Oh my God. Dream donut truck. The experience was awesome. I love that it was a donut truck. You could walk up, get your donuts. They also have a variety of different donuts. And I also love that they push the envelope. A snickered stuffed donut. A snicker stuffed donut. Also, all their donuts were super fresh. All in all, my entire experience at donut truck, I have to give it nine donuts out of 10. And it was my first donut spot of the day. This is incredible. Love it. Let's go on to the next. Our next stop is Colorado Donuts, which is in Eagle Rock, California. Another donut shop that has a variety of donuts. I picked their blueberry crumble cheesecake. The Ube Donut was first seen out in LA at DK Donuts but now everybody has them. And I had to get Elmo because I mean, come on. Does that make you smile? I love that Colorado donuts do have vegan options and I've got their cinnamon crumble for that. Okay, little bites because we got four donuts here. First I'm gonna go in for their vegan donut because if you can master a vegan donut, kudos to you. I love cinnamon so I had to go for a cinnamon crumble. Donut friend, however, their vegan donuts are out of this world so but it's nice to know if you come here, there, there, there's those options. Look at that, it has blueberries on it, crumble on it, it's a lot. So let's go ahead and try that. Oh 
These donuts are not right. That is really sweet and really good. If you love blueberries, this is a definitely a good option. Okay, and then I have to try their ube donut, of course. What I love about the ube donuts is that they're purple. They're so bright and colorful, which I love. Okay, let's try that. Oh Everything is so good. I'm gonna die today. And so all in all, as far as variety, they have so many different donuts. I love that they have vegan options. Their donuts are clearly fresh and made to order. And then, I mean, come on, for the children. Um, I'm gonna have to rate Colorado donuts an eight out of 10 donuts. Solid, there's variety, and they're fresh, and they make me happy. Today is good. The next shop is Donut Friend, which have the best vegan donuts in Los Angeles. Hands down, no dispute. And they do indeed taste like regular donuts. I went ahead and went with the Youth Brulee, which is a creme brulee donut. Let's do a little ASMR, shall we? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so there's Bavarian cream on the inside here, and then, as you guys can see, the sugar was brulee on top. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Wow. I really love the texture of the brulee. That little bit of crunch on top, because you know what, when you really think about it, you don't get a lot of different textures when it comes to donuts, right? You never get something with this kind of texture, which elevates the donut. I also got their green tea donut. At Donut Friend, they have these really cool, unique names, named after rock bands. But this one is Green, Tegan, and Sarah. It has a matcha tea glaze and black sesame seeds on top. So let's go ahead and give it a, a, a try. I don't know how they make their donuts so airy and fluffy. You can just stack all their donuts together and just take a little nap on them. This is a no-brainer. Their donuts get 10 out of 10. Their names are dope. Their flavors are dope. They're vegan. One of the best donut shops in LA, hands down. So what the Donut Man is known for is their fresh glazed donuts stuffed with fresh strawberries. Each and every strawberry that they have is hand-picked. And look at this. Y'all, this is about to get messy. Strawberries are falling. Strawberry down. I have to keep this in the box because chances are if I don't, this car is going to be a mess. And let's just see how fresh West Coast strawberries with this glazed donut really taste. Here we go. Oh my God. This is phenomenal. The glazed donut, soft, perfect. And low key, I feel a little healthy eating it just because they're fresh strawberries. I know this is not healthy, but I'm just saying, I feel a little good. Better eating this. I'm so happy right now. Okay, let's rate it. Woo! First of all, that donut was $6, okay? That is so expensive for one donut. But again, they jam packed that glazed donut with really, really fresh strawberries. So mind you, the donut's $6. They have so many different donuts um, over there. I only picked that one because that's what Donut Man is known for is that strawberry donut. You guys, 10 out of 10. That was so good. Very happy, on to the next. All right, this next donut shop is definitely an LA staple. SK Donuts is one of the most popular donut shops here in LA, and what they're known for are their cronuts. If you don't know what cronuts are, you better get into it. It's basically a croissant slash donut with amazing toppings, and it's incredible. They're also known for their donuts with fillings in them. Fillings. I know y'all get after me how I say things. And then what I chose was the Nutella because I love chocolate. Even though it's not chocolate, but it tastes like chocolate. Anyway, let's go for this one first because Nutella's good on bread, Nutella's good on fruit, 
Nutella is definitely going to be good stuffed in a donut. I tend to not like donuts with cream in them because they kind of freak me out. I don't like, I think that comes from my fear of assorted chocolates that I don't like. And there's nothing worse than a jelly filled donut. I'm not a fan of them. But a Nutella filled, I will definitely compromise when it comes to that. Okay, here we go. I mean, what is there to say? Nutella, powdered sugar, and a donut. It's truly delightful. Next up is this apple cronut. Holy hell, you guys. This thing is drizzled with caramel, and it has apples on top, powdered sugar, and then it's a cronut. I don't even know how I'm supposed to eat this. I think I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna sandwich it and just go in for the kill. Here we go. What did I do to deserve such a wonderful day? I love a good cronut because I love the flakiness of the croissant. The apples are fresh, they're so soft, they're kind of like mush, they're not hard apples. That was an explosive bite. That was wonderful. Again, fresh. And it's also very nice because we've had so many different types of donuts today. It was really nice to switch it up and have a cronut and also a filled donut, a donut filled one. SK Donuts, 10 out of 10. <laughs> Fantastic, nothing's wrong. Again, variety is great. The donuts are fresh, you're gonna get you can choose whatever you want. And they have cronuts. Our final destination of the day is Mochi Nut in Melrose. Melrose is known for having a lot of clothing shops, some bougie places, and some very unique places. And Mochi Nut is definitely very unique. They're actually known for their Korean hot dogs. And they have mochi. Donuts. As someone who is a texture girl slash texture queen, I have a feeling I'm really gonna love these just based off of the texture alone. I chose the Kit Kat one because I um, really love Kit Kats. It's one of my favorite chocolates. But they also have different flavors like this Fruity Pebble one. Here we go, let's break it open. It's nice and fluffy on the inside, you can see. We've had a lot of different textures today, right? The croissant, flaky, most of the standard donuts, airy and fluffy. And now we're ending the day with something chewy. It's not over the top, right? All the donuts that we've had today have been a little over the top with like crazy, crazy toppings. This one was pretty standard, just a little piece of Kit Kat. Now I'm kind of interested to try this Fruity Pebble one. Let's try that one. I love that you could break that apart. It's so easy to eat. If you wanted to share this with somebody, you could just break off a bunch of little donut holes and kind of disperse it. I don't know what I'm saying at this point. Anyway, let's try this one. Well, definitely more sweet and vibrant because of the Fruity Pebbles on there. But again, that texture is on point. And while you're there, if you want a Korean cheese dog, I definitely recommend you trying it. You know, I'm a classic, classic donut girl, so um, I would have to rate that maybe a 7.5. But if you love mochi donuts, then you probably would rate it higher. Higher. First of all, it made me happy. I love that it was simple. And it was like, when you go there, you don't have way too many choices. Most of the time when you go into donut shots, you have a huge variety to pick from. I like that it's kind of like, they have maybe 10 donuts with different toppings and you just choose, which I loved. I love the texture, that it was super chewy. I know I have done a best ice cream in LA and I think I went to 10 spots that day. And I didn't feel that crazy and I didn't feel like I was crashing off of sugar. I've only been to six places today and I feel a little crazy. Anywho, those were some of the best donut shops in LA via Yelp, via you guys on Instagram, and via very popular food websites. Obviously, there's a lot more. I've actually been to a lot of other donut places that I think are just as great, but 
y'all, I can't eat that many donuts. If I miss any of your favorite donut shops, please let me know in the comments below. Which was my favorite donut of the day? And can I remember that far back? Because today was an adventure. My favorite donut of the day, it's a toss up, it's between two, was from Dream's Donut Truck. That Snicker donut, just because I think it just shocked me and surprised me that they managed to put a whole Snicker bar into a donut. <laughs> and that ain't right. Oh my God. And the textures and the flavors were incredible. And I have to say my favorite of the day was definitely Donut Man's strawberry donut. I think because you could totally tell that they put so much time and energy into that donut. It was really good, I could have put it down and I wanted to keep taking bites of it. So I have to say that was my favorite of the day. That's it, that's all I got for you guys. I'm gonna probably go home and die. You might not see me again. I'm not gonna, I shouldn't say that, knock on. There's no wood in here, but whatever. Anyway, see, I can't even, my, my brain is not functioning. That's it, that's it, that's all. Thank you for joining me on another LA food tour. Um, I hope we could do more of these. Where should I go next? What should I do? Bye.